there are some important changes to the user agent string. The multi-screen window placement API makes it possible to enumerate the displays connected to a user's machine and place windows on specific screens. This is Chrome 100. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers. It's been exciting to watch the web grow and see all of the amazing stuff you've built over the last 100 Chrome releases. Looking back, when browsers first reached version 10, there were a few issues as the version number went from one to two digits. Hopefully, we've learned a few things since then that'll ease the transition from two digits to three. Chrome 100 is available now, and Firefox 100 ships soon. These three-digit version numbers have the potential to cause issues on sites that rely on identifying the browser version in some way. Over the last few months, the Firefox team and Chrome team have run experiments in which the browser reported version number 100 even though it wasn't. This led to a few reported issues, and many of which have already been fixed. But we still need your help. If you're a website maintainer, test your website with Chrome and Firefox 100. If you develop a user agent parsing library, add tests to parse versions greater than and equal to 100. Then check out the post on web.dev for more details. Speaking of the user agent, Chrome 100 will be the last version to support an unreduced user agent string by default. This is part of a strategy to replace use of the user agent string with the new user agent client hints API. Starting in Chrome 100, the user agent will be gradually reduced. Check out user agent reduction origin trial and dates on the Chromium blog to learn more about what will be removed and when. For some apps, Opening new windows and putting those windows on specific screens or in specific places is an important feature. For example, when using slides to present, I want the slides to appear full screen on the primary display and my speaker notes to appear on the other display. The multi-screen window placement API makes it possible to enumerate the displays connected to a user's machine and place windows on specific screens. It's graduated its origin trial and is now available in Chrome. You can quickly check if there's more than one screen connected to the device with window.screen.isExtended. But the key functionality is in window.getScreenDetails, which provide details about all of the attached displays. For example, you can determine the primary screen, then use request full screen to make an element full screen on that display. And it provides a way to listen for changes. For example, if a new screen is plugged in or removed, the resolution changes, and so on. Check out Tom's updated article, Managing Several Displays with a Multi-Screen Window Placement API on web.dev for a deeper dive. Of course, there's plenty more. The new forget method for HID devices allows you to revoke permission to an HID device that was granted by a user. And for Web NFC, make read only allows you to make NFC tags permanently read only. All the details, including links, docs, and specs, are in the updates post linked in the description. Hit that subscribe button now so that you don't miss any of the latest Chrome DevTools videos, GUI challenges, designing in the browser, and more. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 101 is released, be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.